are you my friends? In this video, I'm presenting seven old exams questions related to trigonometry of right triangles and application. These questions are coming from lectures 11 and 12 in the pre-calculus course. Question number one, we have beta is acute angle such that secant beta three over two, let's find the value of this expression cosecant beta times cotan of beta plus cosine beta. So we can start by building a right triangle. Secant beta, we know hypotenuse over adjacent. So this is R over X. So the hypotenuse here is three. The adjacent of beta is X equals two. Let's use uh, the Pythagorean theorem, X squared plus Y squared is equal R squared. So nine is equal four plus y squared, y will be plus or minus square root of five. Now why we take the plus? Because we have angle beta is acute, so it is in quadrant one. Now from secant beta, directly I can go to cosine beta, it is the reciprocal. Sine beta by definition will be the opposite over the hypotenuse, so sine of the beta will be the y square root of five divided by three. And also tan theta will be the opposite over the adjacent. Now let's continue in the next slide to see the other functions. So we have sine beta, we have cosine beta, we have tan beta. These are the basic functions. Now you can use the re reciprocal. Cosecant beta, the reciprocal of sine beta. So one over sine beta, three over square root of five. Cotan beta will be the reciprocal of the tan beta. So two over square root of five. Let's put everything together. So three over square root of five, cotan beta two over square root of five and the cosine two over three. So this will be six over five plus two over three. The LCD will be 15, 28 over 15 is the answer. Similar idea here, theta be an angle in quadrant two, such that cosecant theta three over two. Find the value of cotan squared theta minus secant theta times tan theta. So we can draw a triangle here. See, in quadrant two now, remember, in quadrant two, the y positive and the x negative are always positive in all right triangles. So cosecant theta, see this is cosecant theta, three over two. So this is r over y. Okay, so r squared is nine is equal x squared plus four, because we have to find x. x plus or minus square root of five, we take the negative now, because the angle in quadrant two. Now the cosine will be the adjacent, cosine theta will be the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so minus, see there's a minus in the cosine, there is a minus in the tan, opposite will be two over the adjacent, two over minus square root of five. You can put the minus up or down, same. So minus two divided by square root of five. Now we have cosine of theta, we have tan of theta. Secant theta will be the reciprocal of the cosine. So minus three over square root of five. Cotan theta will be the reciprocal of tan. What else we need? Secant tan, cotan is there, cotan is there, secant is there, tan is there, yes. So we have cotan, all this one squared, see cotan squared of theta, that means you take the value of cotan theta, square it, so that will be five over four, C minus, there's a minus in the question, secant will be minus three over square root of five times the tan. So minus and minus becomes plus, so there's a minus here, so five over four minus six over five, also LCD 20 here. So the final answer one over 20. This is a really nice question. We need the value of this expression. Just be careful here, it's not that difficult. Sine 30 degrees all square plus cosine 30 all square, that's easy. This one cosine squared 30 plus cosine 30 squared. Now be careful here, which one is the same? I will explain now. Now just remember, 
if you have cosine 30 all squared, this is the same as cosine squared 30. So when you have a squared on the function, the cosine or the sine or the tan or any other trigonometric function. So cosine 30 all squared, see this one in the numerator, the same as this one here down in the denominator. This one is different. So you remember now cosine 30 squared, you square the angle itself. Here you square the function, the value of the function, not the angle. Here cosine 30 squared, 30 times 30, cosine 900 degrees. That's the only trick there. Now, let's look at the numerator. So sine 30 squared plus cosine 30 squared, we know this is one, but I'm showing that in this example, half squared plus square root of three over two, this is the cosine of 30, square it three over four. We know the answer is one for sure. Now in the denominator, angle 900 degrees, we have to find the coterminal. So we subtract multiples of 360 until we get an angle smaller than 360. So cosine 900, we subtract two complete cycles, two times 360, we get cosine 180, which is minus one. So this is in the denominator. We have a squared cosine 30 will be square root of three over two squared plus and there is minus one there. So three over four minus four over four, minus one over four is the denominator here, all the denominator. And the numerator is one. So one divided by minus one over four, the answer minus four. Now we have to find the value of question number four here. We have to find the value of the X in this big triangle that has two right triangles inside. I will start by putting here some uh, vertices. I can, I can label here E, F, R, and T, just to make it easy. And I will say the distance uh, F, R is, let's call it, this is small m, and from R to T, let's call it small n. So I need X, that means I need m, n, then I will add them. So X will be m plus n. Now let's start with this triangle, EFR. So tan 60 will be 100 over the M. See the 100 is given. Okay, tan 60 we know, square root of three. So when you cross multiply there, you get M equals 100 divided by square root of three. When you rationalize it also, you get 100 square root of three over three. This is small M. Now let's take this triangle E, E, R, and T, and let's find N. Same way, so tan 30 in this triangle will be 100 divided by N. Tan 30, one over square root of three, so N will be 100 square root of three. So in the question we need X, X will be M plus N. So we can add, yes, we can add here, make the LCD three, so three, 300, square root of three, 100 becomes 400, square root of three divided by three is the X value. Now a lifeguard is looking at a swimmer. Here we have an application in a swimming pool with an angle of depression, 60 degrees. The lifeguard seat is 375 centimeters high. This is the seat, the height of the seat. How far in meters is the swimmer from the base of the lifeguard stand. I advise you in the lecture, anytime you have an application question, please try to read it one time, two times, try to understand first, then sketch, then do the question. So let's see here, we have a swimmer, just put here some nice pictures, swimmer here, and this is the seat, okay. The height of all this is 375 centimeters. So this is the same here. Now the angle of depression, remember 60. This is not this angle here. The angle of depression 60 is there between always between the horizontal and the line of sight. 
See this angle, six, if you put here 60, that's wrong. So now you have a triangle. Let, let X be the distance between the swimmer and the base of the lifeguard stem. So tan 60 now, tan 60 will be 375 divided by X. Now remember this is centimeters. So X times tan 60 will be 375. So X will be 375 divided by tan 60. Tan 60 square root of three, you can rationalize it. 375 square root of three divided by three. So it will be 125 square root of three centimeters. I need the X in meters, just divide by 100. So 1.25 square root of three meters. Is now let's look at question number six. A man needs to know the height of a tree. From a given point on the ground, he finds that the angle of elevation to the top of the tree is 60 degrees. So you can start sketching. So there is a tree and there is a man. Then he moves back 60 feet. From the second point, the angle of elevation to the top of the tree is theta, not known, such that tan theta, square root of 27 divided by seven. Find the height of the tree. Let's start with a little nice sketch. So I put here a tree, you can put any tree you like. And then here, the man is there, the angle of elevation to the top of the uh, tree, 60 degrees. Now he will go back, see, 60 feet. Then there's another theta here. The angle of elevation is theta. Tan theta is square root of 27 divided by seven. We need the height of the tree. Let's start now making a triangle. So let's call H be the height of the tree, capital H. And we have here, M is equal to the distance between C and D, let's call it small m. And here we have 60. Let's call this vertices A, B, C, and D. So let's start with the triangle A, C, D. See, if you start with A, C, D, tan 60 will be the opposite, H divided by M, the adjacent. We know tan 60 square root of three. So it will be H equals m square root of three. Let's call this equation star, leave it now. Let's take the triangle ABD, ABD, the big, big, big triangle, ABD, to find another equation that relates uh, H and M. Now we have tan theta, see this is tan theta, the opposite H divided by 60 plus M, you see that one here? 60 plus m. This is BD. So BD is 60 plus m. So tan theta, we know tan theta is given. Square root of 27 becomes 3 square root of 3 over 7. And that's equal h divided by 60 plus m. Let's use equation star, replace it there in the in the h, in this equation here. In the above equation, see this equation. So I have m square root of three. This is the equation star. I can cancel square root of three from both sides or multiply by one over square root of three, which is the same. So I have m over 60 plus m is equal to three over seven. Cross multiply, you get m equals 45. See, this is m. So we have h is equal m times square root of three. So the height of the tree is 45 square root of three feet. Now question number seven, without using a calculator, find the value of the expression sine pi over three times tan pi over six minus cosecant pi over four, all squared. So let's find each one separate sine pi over three from the table, from your memory. You can remember this is sine 60. So this will be square root of three over two. <clears throat> tan pi over six is tan 30, which is one over square root of three. And cosecant pi over four is cosecant 45 degrees, one over sine 45 degrees, which is square root of two. Now let's put the three values in given. 
we have the square root of three over two times one over square root of three. We cancel this minus square root of two. So we have half minus two square root of two all squared. Use this formula here. A minus B squared is A squared minus two AB plus B squared. So we squared the first number one over four minus two half times square root of two, which is minus square root of two plus all this one squared is two. Now you can add one over four and two, but the LCD is four. So that would be nine over four minus square root of two is the answer. Now these are the answers for the seven questions. Please, if you want to see other examples or the lecture itself, you can go and visit the videos lecture 11 or lecture 12 on trigonometry of right triangles and applications. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. I wish I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you very much.